Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man 2. When we last left off, we finished up Air Man and Metal Man, and I found out that Metal Man's weakness is actually Crash Man, not Air Man. Sorry about that, but today we're going to try to hit up a couple more uh, Robot Masters today, and we're going to go to Bubble Man. Yay, freaking Bubble Man. Freaking Bubbles! So today, yeah. Uh, and yes, every time I hear the song now, it makes me think of Brental Floss. But, uh, yeah, we got little frog guys here. As long as you... As long as you just really stay in the same spot, you won't, um, die too much. And I know for without a shadow of a doubt that, uh, Bubble Man's weakness is Metal Man, so that's why I'm heading to, uh, Uh, Bubble Man now. I knew there was one there. That's why I was trying to be careful. Uh, be careful here. These platforms drop. Yeah. I'm going to try to use as little stage points as possible, but... Alright, so let's do this. Yeah, you have to be... There we go. You have to be kind of quick there. And then down here, we just got an easy little. There we go. Of doom. I do like the music from Bubble Man, though. Bubble Man's got some of the best music in the game, except for a, a previous song. And now we're going to go underwater. Yay, underwater physics. Oh, that was cheap. Underwater physics. Uh, jump. Uh, Jumping really high underwater and everything. So you gotta be really careful and don't jump too high or you're gonna hit those spikes. Now we got Killer Shrimp. Metal. Now here we got a little guy and the only way you can kill him, he's when he's shooting out the Killer Shrimp, is uh, his little antenna. And then once he hit this antenna a few times, he'll disappear. Just like that. All right. Now we got killer Metroid jellyfish looking things. You know, I could actually be using metal blades because I said OP weapon, but I want to give myself a little bit of a challenge. So, so I'm not even going to worry about it too much. Yeah. You gotta be very careful in this area. This is probably the most one of the more dangerous areas in the game because it's so narrow. Because of all the spikes. And you got all these Metroid jellyfish. Yes, I'm gonna call them Metroid jellyfish because that's what they look like. They look like Metroid jellyfish. Alright, I'm glad I kinda actually got hit there. So. Alright, now here, just be careful. Yeah, and those spikes are one hit kills. And yes, here we do have another, uh, big fish thing. It's the same process as before. And now just, now all right, so not too bad. Take a nice small jump there. Now we got more of these thing little frog things, but underwater this time. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why it froze up for me or for a second there, but it's alright. We'll get through it. Alright. I'll take that extra man. And all the extra help. <laughs> alright, now we're about to be about out of the water. So if you were. Uh, so just remember that you're out of water now, so don't try to jump too high and stuff like that. You got falling ki killer Krabby Patty cra crabs. And now we go back underwater and now we're at Bubble Man and now we're going to get our uh, Metal Blade set. You ready to see the most OP weapon in the game and perhaps in the whole Mega Man series? Good, because we're about to use them right now. That's like I said, for uh, Bubble Man, weakness is Metal Man. So here we go. One... Basically, just shoots out a lot of bubbles and stuff like that. Bounces around the room. 
And the thing about the Metal Blades is, you, you can shoot it in eight different directions. Shoot it. It's kind of hard to do on a keyboard, though, because... Yeah. But, yeah, as you can see, pretty much OP. And we beat Bubble Man. Hooray! Alright. So now we got that, and now we're going to head to the next Robot Master. With his weakness, get equipped with Bubble Lad. Which is the little bubble things that, you, that you're shooting. So now our next Robot Master we'll be heading to is Heat Man. Heat Bubbles. Fucking Bubbles! And now we're heading to Heat Man. Alright, so... Yeah, now, as you probably can tell, this level's gonna be full, full of, uh, fire and stuff, so... You have to be very much prepared. So basically here, you got to beat these enemies as... Now we got... Beat the enemies as fast as you can. Because... They can gang up on you, just like they're doing now. So, uh, they can pretty much gang up on us if you're not ready, so. Alright. And they do multiply, so. As long as they're off the screen, they won't come chasing after you too much. But, as you can see, if they're on the screen, uh, and, do, and the lava is one hit kill. Maybe you haven't noticed already, so. Yay! You do need to try to kill these guys, though, because they will gang up on your big time, and it's not going to be pretty. I got another extra life there. Alright. Now here, you're just going to have to time your jumps with these enemies. Yeah, this is a harder level. So, if you're just not careful, the enemies will surround you, and it's not going to be pretty. So, just be careful. But as long as you're careful, you'll make it through okay. Now we got these little thingies again. Now the best thing to do here is wait till it starts heading the other direction like that. Or, you can use item 2, which... I really don't want to use that much uh, energy if I have to. So yeah, there we go. Basically that. And now we got the most dreadful place in the entire game. Anybody who's a Mega Man fan knows about the disappearing blocks of doom. Yes. Alright, so we're going to have to jump here, jump here, jump here. Alright. There's You can do this in three blocks if you're careful. Just like that. Okay. So basically that first block, then jump up and then jump to the left and then you make a long, long jump to, uh, to the um, left and you should barely make it like I just did, so... Now we got more disappearing blocks. Uh, just, but luckily it's just one. Now here we're gonna have to worry about two. And I'm gonna take the hit because uh, 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 it depends if they got to the beginning of the level. All right, yeah, I'm gonna take the hit because I was running low on health anyway, so. So here you just have to, uh, try to jump as fast as you can, so you don't, uh, get surrounded, and, like that. Now, now there, if you had crash b bombs, you could have gotten through those without much of a problem. But, I don't have crash bomb yet, so... Alright, so now here, just jump. Yeah, this this room is just a long room with a bunch of uh, disappearing blocks. 
So. If you're just careful, you can... Alright, this time, yeah, you're going to have to go up here and take the disappearing blocks. Because, yeah, because they got lava coming up, so... Yeah, this is probably the, the most evil... Okay, so one, two, three, and then jump up, and then jump across... All right, then jump across, and then jump up. Jump across, jump up. Jump across, jump up. And then jump across, and then jump across. And then jump across, and then jump across. Don't just keep jumping. It's not uh, terrible. It can be, though. You just gotta pay attention to it. Right, see, like, right there. <laughs> Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to grab this extra man, and then I am going to go ahead and use uh, item two. So you can just fly across. And you're going to go, and once you get across, that's really it. Now we got this stupid evil thing that Alright, so this guy is going to take off a shitload of health if you're not careful. You see what I mean? So, uh, this time I'm just going to try to rush through. And let's go ahead and get our bubble lead ready for Heat Man. Zone to, uh, to do the bubble lead just right. Heat Man's weakness is bubble. Make, which makes sense. So basically, what he's going to, okay, I didn't have a whole lot of um, health, so I'm not going to worry about it too much that time. But uh, basically, he's going to throw out three things of fire. And then after you throw a bubble, when he gets hit with the bubble, he'll warp across the room. So basically, avoid the fire, shoot the bubble. Yeah, I mean, he's still probably one of the harder robot masters if you don't know what you're doing. But, I got him. So, alright, so now we'll get Fireman's weapon. And after that, we're going to call it a day. And when we come off, come next, we'll, we'll take care of the next two Robot Masters. I'll show you the next Robot Master we're going to take next. But now we're going to get equipped with... Atomic Fire. And also, Dr. Light comes in with the new message. And message from... Dr. Light. And we're going to get... Item one completed. So we get your. So I'll show off item one too. Show you exactly what item one's all about. But we get item one, and also, like I said, we get equipped with uh, the atomic fire. And we're going to end it here, guys. When we come back, the next robot master we're going to tackle will be Flashman. Alright, man. So we'll have a good day. We will see y'all next time on Let's Play Mega Man 2. It's DKS3, the crazy gamer, signing out.